Hello guys, what's up? This is Christopher from CMM with another quick and dirty episode and today I want to give you an update on the Humidity C Note. So as you might remember if you watched uh, the review of this phone, um, the Humidity C Note is actually quite a good budget smartphone. I mean it's got a nice um, high quality design, we have a good screen except this little bright spot here on the bottom. Um, it's got a status LED, it's got a really fast fingerprint scanner, um, reception quality is good, camera is decent in most um, circumstances, battery life is good, um, quality of audio is okay, um, it runs Android Nougat, so basically everything is there to make up for a decent budget smartphone, especially when you consider that this thing does only cost about um, 140 bucks. Um, but there was one thing that annoyed me and that is how many software bugs this phone has or it had because recently there was an update uh, for the firmware and this is why I am shooting this video to give you an update on the current state. So a lot of bugs have been fixed with this firmware update and I want to show you which one those are. But before I do I want to show you what stuff hasn't been fixed. Um, so first of all Netflix didn't work. It randomly loses connection to the streaming servers while watching videos. Um, I don't show you that right now because it uh, doesn't happen always, just sometimes, but the issue is still there. I tried to watch a episode of my favorite series yesterday and yeah, um, it didn't work out so well. And another thing they didn't fix is this stutter when playing full HD video. So I have a video here and if I play this you will clearly see that um, uh, the video is stuttering. Now this does also not happen on all videos you watch in full HD on this phone but it does happen in the YouTube, in, in the YouTube app. Also Netflix does stutter a bit. Um, so yeah, they still didn't fix this, which is sad. Um, hopefully this will be fixed in uh, the next update. Anyway, what has been fixed? Quite a lot of stuff actually. So as you probably remember, there was some um, error with uh, the uh, battery indicator. Starting from around 20%, um, battery dropped massively, like 2-5% within just a few minutes. Um, which is insane so there was clearly something something wrong with the uh, battery calibration but yes this has been fixed um, yesterday I drained it um, to 0% and uh, from 20% it didn't drain any faster than from 100% um, so yeah this definitely has been fixed which is a uh, nice Another thing that didn't work well was Bluetooth. Um, I actually haven't been able to connect this phone to any Bluetooth device, but this has been fixed too. Bluetooth does not work. As you can see, I was able to pair my headphones yesterday and they're still placed inside of there. So Bluetooth does not work. And also those random signal losses for Wi-Fi have been fixed. Wi-Fi connection now is really stable. Another issue they fixed is Google Fit. As you probably remember, Google Fit didn't work out uh, really well with the first firmware version. Um, it wasn't able to track any uh, distance and speed and yeah, that does work now. So as you can see, I tracked um, a short work, uh, walk here and it did track the distance without any issue. So Google Fit does now work as well. So as you see, a lot of stuff has been fixed on the Humidity C Note um, and I think um, this phone is worth a shot for a lot of people now, especially um, if you can get it for only 140 bucks. Um, I hope they will fix the remaining bugs with the next update, but it's, it's good to see that they are caring about this device and actually did fix some of those bugs. So yeah, seems like this is getting a very good budget smartphone. So heads off you me, seems like you finally learned something from past mistakes. So that's it for this quick and dirty episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.